I guess that's it. I, I honestly think there's nothing to do for the next couple of days. Uh, let's see. Well, I was able to get my skills up quite a bit by grinding and stuff. So, let's see. Air Elemental, does he do anything? Can I do anything with him? Uh, really blow, blow up a storm with the Air Elemental side. Weighs 300 quarks. Damn, that's kind of heavy for a bit of air. Now, I'm also tempted. I am a thief. So, here's this purse that Omar dropped, alright? So, there's money inside. And I know I can take the money. However... Is it, was it left for me as a gift or reward for destroying the elemental, or was it legitimately dropped and should I return it? I'm a thief, what's expected of me? I really don't need any honor points, but it also does not hurt to suck up to uh, Omar uh, for reasons we'll find out later on. But for now, I really, there's nothing else to do. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead and pause right here, and I'm just going to basically do some grinding until fucking day... What, what is it now? Day 9? Yeah, I don't think anything happens until like day 11. Alright, so it gives me plenty of time. So, I'll tell you what, as soon as something happens, I'll let you know. <laughs> um, I'd just like to inter interject here a quick moment that I've been grinding. What a badass I am! Look at the blood! Alright, that's all. Oh god, okay. Whew, it is now day... fucking what? Day 11, this is where we need to be. I think this is when things start happening again, finally. Alright, so let's go down the checklist. Uh, water elemental, check. No, no. Have we seen the water elemental? No, 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 no. I don't think we did. Alright, no. So we have uh, fire elemental and... What the hell we just do? <laughs> Air elemental, thank you. This game is sucking my brains. Alright, so I spent a lot of time fighting just shit randomly out in the desert, and um, I got a little bit cocky. First of all, let me tell you the full story, okay? So you saw all the Jackalman, that was great, blah, blah, blah. I have killed everything, okay? Look, look, so here's, I have two scorpion tails, alright? I have um, two ghoul claws, which means I have killed ghouls and scorpions respectively, and I have the evidence to prove it. Um... I killed a pterosaur, alright, the big fucking green dinosaurs out there. I killed like 18,000 jackal men, a bunch of brigands. I'm a badass with a dagger, okay? Now here's the funny part. Um, I got a little bit cocky and I'm like, you know what? I bet we could fight the griffin. You know the griffin where we got the feather from? The one who was just chilling out outside, not doing anything to anybody and we just took his feather and ran away with it? But, uh, okay, so I'm like, here, have a dagger, Mr. Griffin. And he's like, fuck that and flies away. He's like, okay, great. So I go out and I, uh, I find him. <laughs> he flies down, swoops, and proceeds to claw my eyes out. But fortunately, I am a badass, so I took him down to like quarter health, and he flew away. He's like, ugh, no more, no more. And then he, and then he comes back again. I fight him down. I get him down to like another half, and maybe I just got lucky, because that guy packs a wallop, okay? But he's only taken half health down, so he's he's bound to fly back again. So I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> That he may. But anyway, doesn't matter. Right now, we have more important things to do, like cashing in our chips with the apothecary. Because uh, he wants the scorpion tails and the stingers and all that stuff. So let's hand him over for money. The poison cure, 40 dinars. Got 40 dinars. Did I give him both of them or just one? Maybe I get 20 dinars per. Here's some ghoul claws. Wow, alright. I just made like 90 bucks. 4, 5, 6, 70 bucks is what I just made, because I know how to do math. Okay, uh, honestly, I think that's pretty much it until tonight, where I woke up this morning and the Kata's like, the poet Omar requests your presence specifically this uh, tonight when he's doing his poet reading. So, you know, let's go ahead and flash forward to that, because there's not much else to do until the next elemental shows up, and God knows when that's going to happen. So... Let's go take a nap until evening. Honk shoe, honk shoe. All right, hopefully I didn't miss it. Oh, there he goes. The poet will soon speak, but if you'll be able to be seated, the thing. If it would please the hero so, boom, then there is that which he should know. A simple prize from certain wise for deeds of air the lenders owe. What is, oh, okay, all right, so it is. Weird rhyming scheme. Uh, from the Sultan Harun of Shade, may you reign forever and stuff. Uh, we present thee with this purse for thy services, most brave and daring against the elemental bear. 
50 bucks. Badass. That's, oh, okay. Well, I was going to turn in the purse, but all right. Let's listen to his, uh, let's listen to his rap. <clears throat> I'm going to freestyle a little bit for you bitches. Ahem. Come a hero drawing near from a land of fear. Shapiro got a cold and carry that one here. Wait a minute. This rhyme sucks. I shall tell a detailed allegory about a quest for love and glory, which I shall feel it if you will lend it here. How you like that? Oh. Lose yourself in the moment. The hero first faced fire, uh, which was make batters dire. Uh, for the flames he fought were fitting ever higher with water first he fought it. Boom, and into a lamp he got it. Uh, here our city has appeared, become a fire. Can I get a bad beat? Can I get a one one? In the next deep face was air, which I'm sure you're all aware. It was blustering and blowing here and there. Uh. Before the winds became our bane with a fearsome uh, hurricane, with a bellows that he caught it fair and square. Uh huh. Where's the roof in the house? Little Omar. So let us raise and cheer for the hero of Shapir. And remember that our praise is quite sincere. Uh. For in the quest for glory, as related by the story, is a hero who saved us from fears. A hero who's a hero without peer. Oh, yeah! And <laughs> even Shima's like, "Well, fuck that." <laughs> Shima walked out. <laughs> Woo! Oh boy. Okay. Well, um, great guys. That was fantastic. Uh, let's see, uh, starting a pillow fight. Okay, I was gonna sit down and talk to them, but I'll just sort of, yeah, okay. So let's greet them. Uh, let's see, uh, blah, blah, blah. Thank you. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead, because I have plenty of money. I'm gonna go and return the purse. So let's see what kind of effect this has on my stats here. So I have 69 honor points, which I think has actually gone down considerably since I attacked the griffin without provocation. So let's make up for that. So here's... Here's your purse. That which I lost is now returned. I give you the price of gratitude and... Uh, like, the memory of Pwn is long for those who ate him and stuff. Alright, so, like, thanks. So, apparently that wasn't my secret reward. He actually did drop his purse. So, I feel a little bit better. So, I went from 69 to the night is still young. That's exactly what I'm... So, I got an A point. Great. Well, 70 seems like a nice round number. The 69 was kind of cool. Uh, let's see. There's not really too much I need to know from them right now. I can ask about the air elemental. Air elemental, please! The wind which turns and twists with speeding force. It wrecks and ruins all without remorse. The dust that never for takes it to spare. A living elemental for no air. Uh, well, he, what he's trying to say, like, is the elemental there by the sheer power of wind is capable of vast destruction and stuff. Oh, the caravan. Okay. Yeah, all right. Here's, so here's the thing. Um, uh, it was just kind of mentioned to me in passing. I, actually, I think Dinarzad mentioned it to me once too, but there's a caravan coming to, uh, to Shapir that carries everyone to Razir who dares to go in, I think, like another six days. So I got to make sure you wrap up everything by day, what, like 15 or 16 or something like that? So I guess the air elementals, the elementals are going to be coming pretty, uh, pretty fast and furious. I don't think there's much else I... I need to do at this point, but speaking of Dinarzad, let's go talk to her because I have not robbed anything in way too long except for the bellows, which I guess kind of sort of counts. So let's see. No, doesn't say anything. Uh, Dinarzad, daily news, work. Damn. Well, nothing to do, so let's just go ahead and sleep till fucking morning because I really uh, am not in the mood to go out and fighting anymore. Actually, you know what? Let's go see if the... Because I, I wandered all over the place trying to see if the uh, griffin would come back so I can finally polish him off. So let's save here. Uh, let's see. Let's just change this. No, oh, whatever. Uh, let's see. Death wish. So at least I can guys show you what the griffin looks like. He looked like kind of a pixely mess when he was chilling up on his nest. But when he's fighting you and like running around, he actually looks kind of badass. So, I, I, I think it's just kind of random when he pops up. Usually he appears here, but no, these are jackal men. 
No, I'm gonna take them down for you, just to show you. Jackalmen are kind of assholes because their friends will like keep joining in the fight over there on the side. Just trying to keep you on your toes. Ow. But the cool thing about it is that you can treat them as a dodge, which gets you that lunge for free. And they, ow, and they really telegraph their hits too. I am not doing well, sorry. I'm trying to talk at the same time and watch these two jackalmen over here to the side. There, okay, there we go. I got him cornered, so all I can really do is jump and swing his sword from time to time, which is fairly ineffective. All right, there's one down, one down. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, fucker. Let's go. I love this move. It just It's basically a stun lock. If you're fast, you can get it in before he can even raise his goddamn sword. So it's a stabby, stabby over and over again. And my stamina has gone way up, so I can I can do this for quite a while. There's two down. My record is five. I think that might actually be the maximum, but we'll see. So I'm actually like playing this game now as more of a hybrid ow, hybrid uh, thief slash fighter instead of the thief slash magician I was hoping for. Actually, that reminds me, I might be able to take the wit exam and become like a wizard or something. I don't know. There we go. Three up, three down. And now, of course, I'm in half stamina, so this griffin does appear. I got pills. We'll be fine. So let's see. Ten dinars out of that. Sweet. And because I didn't have to run away, Roger is still here. Hello, Mr. Roger. Um, let's take a pill just because. And let's see if we, let's continue the hunt here. Yeah, come on. Maybe I just got lucky last time finding him twice in a row. No, fucking more Jackalmen. I don't care about the Jackalmen. No, bye. You don't get experience. It, you, you just kind of raise your stats slightly with fighting. So it's it's pretty pointless. But yeah, I'm not... Yeah, fuck it. I don't, I don't even care about the Griffin anymore. Let's just go take a nap and then we'll uh, get on with day 12. Which I think is another uh, another elemental day. So let's go... F let's go chill out. Well, yeah, I've been doing... Uh, been out to a lot. You guys been comfortable there? Sitting around your comfortable in? Hmm? While I'm out killing shit? For fun and profit? Huh? Oh, okay, I'm starving. Alright, so before I go out too far, let's go ahead and get some food. And I noticed somehow, I, I figured it would have been maxed out by now, but my stealth is like fairly low, 126, and I'm supposed to be a thief for crying out loud. So, I'll just be sneaking everywhere from here on out. Uh, oh, that's why I didn't. I guess I have to do this off screen. I fear here of an Shapiro again is in need of your aid. There's a token of an elemental of others in the city. Ah! All right, so the earth elemental's in town. Um, not sure where. So I should probably get out of sneak mode and probably into run mode in case he appears in Shapir's. All right, so, well, I guess we'll do the normal thing whenever an elemental appears is we'll go talk to all of our friends. Who would be in charge of Earth? Who would know a lot about Earth? I mean, there's Harik, but he's more of like the fire guy, and that's air. Aziz is obviously water. Who's Earth? Wouldn't be fucking uh, weapon dude, Asur, or the astrologer. I don't know. All right, well, let's go talk to Aziza, and let's find out what's going on with the Earth Elemental. We'll see what we need to do. Hello. Yeah, 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 whatever. Hey, I'm taking a nap here. Will you? Jesus Christ. Okay, let's go take a seat. Let's do our normal tea ceremony thing, even though I really don't want any tea. And I forgot to get food. Maybe the tea will fill me up a little bit. Alright, thank you. I can actually kiss her. Let's try it. I think Death Wish is a, is a good name for this one, so kiss. You are most brash, but I assume that you mean only to flatter me. Um... Ah, eh, whatever. Okay. So let's talk to her about um, the Earth. Well, let's talk to her about the caravan for a quick second. Caravan! The caravan is currently the most only way, the most only way. I don't even know what that means. People can travel to the of the lands beyond. All right, Earth Elemental. There's one outside somewhere. Perhaps let me show you blah, blah, blah. I don't like talking. Look at my Pokemans. That's a level 60 Geodude there. The essence of Earth is strength. There got him go. Stompy, stompy. There's a fire. Yeah, I set my Geodude on fire. He used Brain as super effective. It must be, whoops, so oh dear. I skipped that. Um, okay, can you tell me about that again, please? 
Uh, there's Pokemans, Geo Dude, blah blah blah. There's the fire, boing boing boing. It must be worn away before it can be captured in this. It is only vulnerable to flame. Uh, best be contained in a type of cloth sack used to hold sand in the city. Well, great. Uh, well, thank you very much. So, that's... It <laughs> seems pretty straightforward. Uh, let's see. Uh, goodbye. Well, let's see. I guess... Technically, I have the fire bolt thing, which would be fine. But if we know fire, let's see if we can do this the right way and go talk to Harik. I mean, he'll probably know some sort of pyrotechnics we can use against this thing. Uh, I heard that it was you who vanquished the elemental of air as well as flame. Perhaps now you need to know something about the element of earth. Ah. Uh. All right. Well, it's uh, earth element. I haven't seen it yet, but it looks big. With fiery emotion, you explain to Harik that the earth elemental is attacking the city somewhere. Perhaps you could use some magical fire to burn. Magical or I like burning. I like burning. Do I have some powder of burning that might work with this very rare? And it makes us pretty flames. I hate to have it wasted. Um. Well, how do I get it? Jesus Christ, I'm fucking loaded. Look at that. Um. I don't know how many of these pills I have on me. Uh. Make purchase. Oh, here we go. With fire emotion again, you explain to Harik that the Earth Elemental is attacking the city. At first, he seems unconvinced, then your eloquence finally sways him. Uh, I have a substance called power burning you may have heard about a minute ago, but since you put it that way, I guess I'll have to give the powder to you. Just be very careful with it. I need to, you remember to be as far from the tower and the you can, it might be down to the direction. It probably will take most of the powder I can give you to defeat such a thing as the Earth Elemental. But please do not waste it. Do not miss when you throw it. Cool. Uh, when in battle, plus Q to utilize the powder. Interesting. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I wonder if your communication skill wasn't high enough, if you would not be able to get the powder of burning, which is very pretty, by the way. It looks like a packet full of rubies and gems. Uh, you know what we're going to have to do, of course, when that bag uh, reaches zero capacity, but we'll save that for uh, we'll save that for later. Okay, I think we're about as armed, well-armed as we can. I, I, wait, wait, wait. Do I have... Um, fill my water here. Oh, yeah, let me stock up on food, too, because I have... Oh, 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 what did he say? That, it's wandering the streets. Okay, good, good, good. So we know where he is. So let's buy... Buy meat. What is this? Signed game box? What? Oh, uh, okay. Wait. Look, look at that! Look, I got a signed game box. It's the, it's the Quest for Glory game box. Wow. Look, it's an original Trial by Fire game box. It's signed by Slory and Scory. Neat. Can I play it? Can I like play the game inside the game? You don't want to open the sealed box. Ever since Chainsaw Monday, these vintage games have become a real collector's item. Cool. All right. Oh, anyway. Um. Uh, what? Why would the meat sellers be? Whatever. All right. So. Five jerky rations. Let's buy like that's two of them. Two hundred cent teams. Buy. Cool. Nom nom nom. Now. Uh, pretty much all we have to do now, I think, was that we just kind of wander around to find the Earth Elemental. Earth Elemental. Okay. Uh, let's do it. Let's find it. Let's good. Uh, oh God, I'm so worried. But then again, I have been kind of a badass. You could probably just like knock, just kill it with anything, but you just with your bare hands at this point. Okay, so let's find ourselves an Earth Elemental. Do we just wander the streets or is he in the plazas? I have no idea where I'm going. Earth Elemental. <laughs> Got him. Oh no. Oh no. King Graham was dead. How you doing there, buddy? <laughs>